Good evening, Congregational Church family. Uh, it's good to talk with you and good to make an announcement here. Uh, as you know, it's been a momentous day. Earlier today, President Trump made the announcement uh, declaring all churches as being essential uh, groups or businesses, and he ordered governors to comply with that order. Now, I know we're all excited to hear that, and we're looking forward to meeting again in person as soon as possible. But this afternoon, I participated in a Zoom meeting that was already on the calendar before this announcement, and it was called by a group of pastors in Bakersfield, but invited to participate were some state and local leaders who were, who were also present on, on the call. Now, obviously, the president's announcement was the main topic of conversation, and the basic information that we received in the start of the call was that the governor still has the authority over the state and we have to wait for his approval before we can come back to meet. As we were on the Zoom call, one of those state leaders got off the call and got back on a few minutes later and said, I just spoke with the governor. The new information was coming in. The governor, she said, is working on a set of guidelines for churches to allow them to come together and meet again. So what he's doing is combining the, C, the national CDC guidelines with a, a sort of a state guideline that him and his staff are working on uh, today as we speak. So things changed in the middle of our phone call. So it's my understanding that the governor is gonna make an announcement about this very soon. Uh, the announcement could come tomorrow or it could be on Monday, but basically they're working on the official guidelines for what churches have to comply with before they can open. When that happens, when the governor makes that announcement, we will know exactly what we have to do in order to reopen. As I said, we're expecting that any day. And when he does that, we'll know exactly what we're supposed to do as we open on Sunday mornings. If it happens tomorrow, then great. If we can get all those guidelines ready, we can be ready to meet this Sunday. If the announcement comes on Monday, then we'll be ready for next Sunday. But it seems that the reopening of churches is imminent any moment. But let me just add this as, as I close. The, govern, the governor is our state leader, uh, whether we like him or not, and therefore he deserves a certain level of respect. And as one of our state leaders told us on the, on the call, the governor is listening to the voice of faith-based leaders when he does not have to. He is listening to their, their complaints, he is listening uh, to their grievances, and he is adjusting appropriately. The governor is basing his decisions on the input he receives from people like uh, senators and representatives who are faith-based. And that is something that we should be glad and grateful for, that he's willing to listen and he's willing to move, it seems like, churches into phase two instead of leaving us in phase three. So please keep praying for our leaders. So as soon as we have word on what we are to do, when we can open, we will do it but we are anticipating that announcement to be either tomorrow or early next week. And when that is, we will announce when we can come back to meet, okay? If you have any questions, get a hold of me, get in touch with me. God bless, hopefully we'll see each other soon.